Hey, welcome to another episode of Daryl Karmas. I'm Jeff, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the back cover on the side view mirror assembly on your 9th gen Honda Accord. This procedure will be the same for all 2013 through 2017 Honda Accord. Now, my particular vehicle does have the lane watch camera and the turn signal indicator here. If your vehicle does not have these, the removal is pretty much the same, except that you do have to remove the actuator that's inside the side view mirror assembly. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways. One is I'm going to completely remove the side view mirror assembly from the vehicle that will be on the driver's side and on the passenger side i will show you how to do this with the side view mirror assembly still attached to the vehicle all right for the driver's side i'm going to remove it completely from the vehicle i do have a detailed video on my youtube channel on how to do that so i'll link it in the video description below all right so this side is the driver's side without the lane watch camera all right so you're going to need a torque screwdriver t15 you're going to remove the one right here and another one that's down right there. You do not need to remove the actuator itself. And so just go ahead and remove these two. Now we need to go ahead and remove this outer cover. It's held on by that clip down here. There's three on top and there's also a clip that's located right here this long clip needs to be pressed outwards this way and also right in here this clip as well needs to be pressed inwards on this way towards that way and so these right here you can either use a small screwdriver to pry this up or a pry tool and just pry up the tabs right here and all these right here too so just get it to the side and pry it up pry it up pry it up and the one that's located all the way in there here i'll show you see see right there you have to pry that out as well and so i use a like a pick you can get this from harbor freight and i wedge it in there down there and then i pry that up and same thing with this side once that is out this whole piece will pop up okay and let me give you a better view of those two clips that's in the inside so it, it was these two right here all right so there's one here and one here these were the ones that i popped out and so what i did was i took this pick and i placed it behind in here and then push this in that way so push it on that way and push this towards this way to release this now the last thing that holds this back cover is a tab that's located in the back right here so you see that there's an opening here if you look to the back there is the similar one that you just had to remove from the two sides there's another one that's located back here so I'm going to put it in here and undo the clip and I'll show you right now what it looks like and go ahead and undo the harness for the turn signal indicator all you do is you push the little tab that's located in the bottom right here and this will come out and so here so this was the thing I pressed that was located behind in there and so I just pressed this up and it came out and this was the harness that was here and here is the harness and so I pressed the tab that's back here and this whole thing came apart and now I have the back plate with the LED indicator assembly that's located right here all right so to put this back together all i need to do is hook up the savvy mirror harness for the indicator and then line up the clip back into a slot that's right here all right and then take the 
top cover and snap it back together. And then reinstall the two T15 Torx. And then reconnect the glass. And then simply line up the backing to the actuator and snap that together with your palm. Now this is a pattern side that has the camera and so I have to remove this additional screw and cover. On the driver's side since it doesn't have the lane watch camera, there won't be this one that you need to remove. But on the passenger side, I do need to remove that. So I'm going to take my T15 and remove the single screw. And I simply lift this out. And there you go. And now it's going to be the exact same thing as the driver's side. There's one screw here one screw down under here okay so after you remove the screw from in here screw from down here there's going to be the same three clips that's located on the top right here and there's also a long clip that's located in here, right there, and another one that's located right here. And so undo those three clips and also undo that one in there and also this one right here. These two I'm going to do with the pick tool, get behind here and pry it out. Same thing with this side, get behind and pry that out. The top three I'm just going to use a, either a flat screwdriver or a pry tool. So there you go. The top cover is removed. Now I need to go ahead and unhook the lane watch camera. And so I just push the tab that's on the top right here. And this entire top trim piece will come out. So in the back again, it was the same as the driver's side. These were the two little notches that I had to press down and out in order to remove this. And then last thing is I need to stick my pick tool in here and get to that little clip that's located behind in here. And then disconnect the turn signal assembly. Now as you can see, it's very similar between the driver and the passenger side. The only difference on the passenger side is that it does have a lane watch camera so there will be one additional wire harness that you need to unclip and there is a screw and cover that you have to undo as well all right so i showed you two different ways to tackle this project one is to completely remove the side view assembly from the vehicle and one is you can still do it while it's still attached to the vehicle as well if you have any questions please leave in the comments below as always thanks for watching Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.